Quantum computing, a revolutionary technology that exploits the unique properties of particles to process information, has the potential to tackle problems that traditional supercomputers cannot solve. IBM, a leading player in the quantum computing arena, has made significant strides in this field. In a recent announcement at the G7 Summit in Hiroshima, Japan, IBM revealed its ambitious plan to build a 100,000 qubit quantum computer within the next decade. This groundbreaking initiative, in collaboration with the University of Tokyo and the University of Chicago, aims to push the boundaries of quantum computing and unlock new possibilities across various industries. Quantum computing operates on the principles of superposition and entanglement, allowing information to be encoded and manipulated in ways that were previously unimaginable. While quantum computers have not yet outperformed traditional supercomputers, the key to their success lies in scaling up the number of qubits. Qubits are the fundamental building blocks of quantum information processing, and increasing their quantity and quality is essential for achieving meaningful computational results. IBM's Vision for Quantum Computing IBM's aspiration to build a 100,000 qubit quantum computer is a bold step towards realizing the full potential of this technology. With such a powerful machine, IBM aims to enable quantum-centric supercomputing by combining the strengths of quantum and classical computing. By leveraging the capabilities of 100,000 qubits alongside the most advanced classical supercomputers, IBM envisions breakthroughs in areas such as drug discovery, fertilizer production, battery performance, and many other applications that are currently beyond the reach of traditional computing methods. The Quantum Computing Race IBM is not the only player with ambitious plans in the quantum computing race. Google has set its sights on a million qubits by the end of the decade, although error correction means only a fraction of those qubits will be available for computations. Maryland-based IonQ aims to have 1024 logical qubits by 2028, while Palo Alto-based PsyQuantum is also working towards building a million qubit quantum computer. Each company has its own approach and strategy, emphasizing different aspects of qubit performance, error correction, and software-led error mitigation. Overcoming challenges, hardware and innovation. To build a quantum computer with 100,000 qubits, IBM recognizes the need for significant innovation and advancements in hardware technology. Currently, IBM's qubits are made from rings of superconducting metal that operate at millikelvin temperatures. However, this technology can only scale up to 5,000 qubits with current capabilities, which is insufficient for meaningful computation. Energy efficiency is another critical challenge that needs to be addressed, as operating 100,000 qubits would require an impractical amount of energy. IBM is actively exploring alternatives, such as integrated circuits based on complementary metal oxide semiconductor CMOS, technology to control qubits with much lower power consumption. Modular Chip Design and Collaboration IBM's 100,000 qubit quantum computer will utilize a modular chip design, allowing for the scalability required to accommodate such a large number of qubits. IBM's Kookaburra, a multi-chip processor with 1386 qubits and a quantum communication link, is currently under development and expected to be released in 2025. This modular approach will require interconnects that transfer quantum information between modules efficiently. To achieve this, IBM is collaborating with the University of Tokyo and the University of Chicago, leveraging their expertise in components, communication innovations, and other crucial aspects of quantum computing. The importance of academic research and talent. Academic research plays a vital role in advancing the field of quantum computing. IBM recognizes the need to support universities in their pursuit of groundbreaking research. The collaboration with the University of Tokyo and the University of Chicago is just the beginning. Many more industry academic partnerships are expected to emerge in the coming years. Additionally, the industry requires more quantum computational scientists who can bridge the gap between physicists and developers. These experts are essential for designing and implementing useful algorithms that can run on quantum machines. 
IBM has been actively engaging with the academic community, making its quantum processors available to researchers via the cloud and fostering innovation in the field. The Road Ahead Challenges and Risks Building a 100,000 cubic quantum computer is a monumental task that comes with inherent challenges and risks. While IBM has allocated $100 million towards this project, there is no guarantee that it will be sufficient to achieve the ambitious goal. The scalability of control systems and the efficient management of such a large number of qubits are significant hurdles that need to be overcome. However, the potential rewards outweigh the risks. Joe Fitzsimons, CEO of Horizon Quantum, acknowledges the challenges but believes that the industry must take risks and confront technical obstacles to realize the full potential of large-scale quantum computing. To sum up, IBM's plan to build a 100,000 qubit quantum computer within the next decade marks a significant milestone in the field of quantum computing. By pushing the boundaries of hardware technology, fostering collaboration with academic institutions, and attracting top talent, IBM aims to revolutionize industries and solve complex problems that are currently beyond the capabilities of traditional supercomputers. As the quantum computing race heats up, it is an exciting time for innovation and advancements in this groundbreaking field. The future holds immense potential for quantum-centric supercomputing, and IBM is at the forefront of this transformative journey. Click here to watch experts warns, AI will destroy humanity. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos.